New tonight at 9, a Mobile pastor surrendered after being accused of having inappropriate interactions with his 14-year-old relative. Pastor Cedric McMillan is charged with sodomy and sexual assault, and you may recognize the pastor's name. Fox 10 News reporter Paige Malone joins us in the studio to tell us why. And Bob Lundy's not only is Cedric McMillan a pastor, he's also the president of the Pritchard Chamber of Commerce. And perhaps the most shocking, he's the former headmaster of Pritchard Preparatory School. On the New Birth Church community website, you'll find messages from the congregation to their pastor, Cedric McMillan. A Mobile County District Attorney's Office says Pastor McMillan has been sending messages of his own to a 14-year-old relative. Child's mother became aware of some um, very inappropriate text messages and um, confronted her child about the texting and, uh, even, and the child went ahead and told the mother what had been going on for s several years. But Assistant DA Nikki Patterson says McMillan's alleged actions are what led to his arrest. The crime of um, sex abuse and the crime of sodomy with which he's charged involve um, sexual contact with someone who is underage and um, a specific type. The sodomy charge refers to a specific type of illegal sexual contact. Fox 10 News sat down with McMillan back in 2009 when he was the headmaster at Pritchard Preparatory School. The school's headmaster uses his own life lesson as a lesson plan for success. Patterson says that these alleged interactions were going on at the same time, while more than 40 children, grades kindergarten through third, were under his guidance. Many of these kids uh, are from uh, single parent homes, uh, mothers working two jobs, some of them three. Uh, and so I see myself every day in these kids. People who are interested in victimizing children or young adults are going to put themselves into situations where they have access to children and young adults. McMillan was indicted by a grand jury in May, but because of cutbacks, wasn't behind bars until he turned himself in yesterday. In the meantime, McMillan went on about his business, leading church revivals and acting as the president of the Pritchard Chamber of Commerce. We were particularly anxious to move as quickly as we could, and that's what we did. McMillan was released on bond. If he is convicted, he could see two to 20 years behind bars.